Good afternoon, everyone. I hope that you're having a wonderful summer. Parents, I'm going to do this in real time so that it's easier for you and your children to follow along. We have minimal supplies today. I am working on just regular paper. I have a washcloth or a napkin to absorb the water when we wash off our brushes. If you do not have um, brushes lying around, you can also have them use a folded up tissue or a paper towel that they can dab into their paint and dab onto their paper. A cup of water, a pencil, The colors here are optional. If you don't have a dark green and a light green, you can use one kind of green and just add some white to it to make two different greens. I'm using a darker green, an apple green, white, brown for the tree trunk, and I'm going to use yellow for my sun, which is also optional. If you don't have yellow or you don't wish to make a sun, you do not have to. As far as brushes go, A flat tip brush will work best for when we create the trunk. It doesn't really matter its size, it doesn't have to be large or small, it's just personal preference. And if you have a circular brush, like this, or if you have a painter's brush, chances are your parents might have one of these laying around the house. Uh, the more used that it is, the better. Once again, it doesn't matter its size. But these are the two brushes. You can use one or the other if you have them that I will be using um, to make the top part of the tree. And once again, if you don't have these brushes, a, a cut up sponge or a paper towel or folded tissue will, wor will work just as well. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna have us do is use our pencil and draw a long rectangle for the tree trunk. Your rectangle does not have to be perfect as tree trunks are not perfect themselves. And as you might have already guessed, I'm going to have us paint this tree trunk in brown. And I'm gonna have us use our flat tip brush. You can paint this as quickly or as slowly as you would like. All different types of artists paint differently. Some go really fast and get done quicker than others, and some take a little bit of time. If I ever go too fast for you in this video, don't feel like you have to rush. I want you guys to take your time as needed. Go ahead and pause the video or have a parent pause the video. When you are all done with that, I'm going to have you make your own color. We're going to make a tan color by mixing our brown and our white. If your brown is lighter than mine or looks different than mine, if it's, if it's more of a cinnamon, that's okay. So I'm just mixing up a tan color 
and I'm going to paint one side of the tree trunk. And this will be where the sun hits. Take all the time that you need, but when you are done, I'm going to have you put this brush into your water. A good way to get your brushes clean, my water is green, is to push your paintbrush all the way down to the bottom of your cup and kind of just go back and forth with it. And then get the excess water off on the sides of the cup. And then go ahead and make sure it's dry. We want all of our paintbrushes dry when we do this. Because we're working on paper, we don't want it to get all soggy. When you are done with that, I'm going to have you use one of your brushes. Like I said, parents, even if it's an old paintbrush and it's, it's not this size, the more used and kind of rough it is, the better. If not, children, remember you can always use a paper towel or a sponge or a tissue like I am. I'm gonna make sure mine is nice and dry. And we are gonna form the top of our tree. So I'm gonna start with my darker green. Parents, I know that children tend to work with a lot more paint. I do suggest, depending on their age, that you pour the paint for them. Pour less than what I have here. Um, a small amount will go a long way and it'll make it so their paper doesn't get soggy and the drying times will be less. So this is what my paintbrush looks like. And this is the fun part. You get to form the top of your tree. You can make it more of a circle shape or whatever shape that you want. And I'm just going to dab it. I'm going to hit my paper with the brush. You can have parts of your paper showing through. You don't need to make it all dark green. We're just gonna dab to form the shape of our tree. You can make some parts come out farther than others. Have fun with it. And we are also going to make our grass doing the exact same thing down at the bottom. Beautiful! My suggestion for the round tip brushes are not to put them in water, um, but to take a paper towel and kind of just wipe the paint off of them instead until the next time we need to use them. They tend to hold a lot more water. So drying them can get a little bit messy. So while we let that dry, I'm going to have you draw your sun. This is completely optional. You don't have to have a sun. Um, you can draw it anywhere. You can draw it to the left, in the middle, to the right, as big or as small as you want it. I'm going to draw a circle. But you know, you can draw a flower shape. You can, you can draw anything that you want. It doesn't have to be an exact circle. You can draw sun rays. 
I'm going to use my flat tip brush when painting it in because it's easier for coverage. Get a nice helping of yellow and I'll go around the outside first. And then fill in the middle. And then with that, I'm going to wash and dry this brush. Remember children, take your time, work at your own pace. Pause this video if you need to. Another good option um, for younger children, if you don't want to have to bother with, you know, paper towel that can rip through or dirty up a washcloth, baby wipes are great just to kind of, you don't even have to wash off your brush to, to take the baby wipe and wipe the end off for them and then just continue painting. All right, we're back. And this time we get to use our lighter color green. Once again, if you only had one color green, let's say you only had a darker green, you can add white to it, just like we made our tan color. You can make a lighter green and mix it. That way you have a darker green and a lighter green. If you only have a light green, you could still do the same. You can still add some white to it and make it even lighter. So I'm gonna take some of our, our lighter green and I'm going to do the same exact thing that we did with our darker green. I'm going to take this and I'm going to dab it onto my, my darker green. Now I don't want to cover all of my dark green up. I want some of that darker green showing through. And I'm going to do the exact same thing to my grass. And this way, we have a beautiful tree that has some darker leaves and some lighter leaves. And you can see where the sun is hitting and where it's casting a shadow. If you want to get really creative, you can add in some of this sun, sunny yellow to the side of your tree trunk to make it look like the sun is hitting the tree trunk. But once again, you don't have to do that. That's completely optional. And while you guys are doing this and having fun with your own tree, I'm going to show you some other things that you can add to your tree. So I have two other ones, um, one that my, my child did and one that I did with them. I'm going to grab a Q-tip and some red paint or pink paint, or you can even still use that light green paint. I have some red paint. You can also use the bright green paint if you would rather do green apples. And I have some Q-tips. I'm going to dip my Q-tip into the red paint. coating the top of it, 
and I'll do one with with green apples and one with red apples and I'm just going to take it and I'm going to put it on the paper You can even make some that maybe fell on the grass. And then I'll do the same with my light green. Yeah, maybe I'll make them on the same tree. You don't have to add apples to your tree. You can add anything that you can think of. You can add flowers, peaches, oranges. For this tree, for children who would like to maybe add in some literal leaves, this is optional, you can stop the video here. Um, but I suggest getting a tiny paintbrush or just a smaller one than the one that we have worked with. And lightening up our light green again. I'm just gonna add some white to it. You can even add some yellow if you want. And you can just go ahead and just like you did with the sponge, just kind of dab, dab your paintbrush. And this will kind of just indicate where the sun is hitting leaves, the lightest leaves on the tree. Once again, completely optional. You don't have to do this. You could even make um, some of those falling, maybe some of them into the grass. Most of all, I just want you, I want you to have fun with this. Make this your own tree. And parents, if your child followed along, I would appreciate it so much. I would love it. It would make my day if you could possibly send me their finished trees, if they're okay with it. Um, you can give a first name or no name and an age, and I will put them on my Facebook page and feature them on my next video. My Facebook page, for anybody that is wondering or would like to see their child's artwork featured on my next video and my page, I am the only Dana the Painter on Facebook. I'm pretty easy to find. So that concludes this tree painting session. Um, for any parents that have older children that are in secondary uh, school, I would love to do a more detailed accurate version of these and if I know that I have an audience that wants to learn that and is willing to follow along with basic supplies I will absolutely make a video for that it's what I enjoy doing all right everybody thank you so much for painting with me today I hope that you enjoyed it and if you can think of anything else that you would like to learn to paint for elementary age Put it in the comments. Maybe I'll make a video.